Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video will really only be for people that have, I'm, I'm almost sure, Corel 2017 and above. But if you don't have it, you can also, in this month's Insight Magazine, which is put on by the Awards and Personalization Association, they've got this a very good article by one of my my main mentor, Roy Brewer from the Engraving Concept. And I've got this train that you could cut out and do all kinds of things with and put on a wall and weld letters or cut letters out of inside the train. But anyway, inside of his um, write-up in the article, it talks about the knife tool. And in the knife tool in 2017, it's got an auto close. And I've only ever used it like this. And what that does, you had one object and now you have two. And that's the only reason I've ever used it, but I never thought about it on a big object like this, where this train is, it's a curve on one layer, it's all one piece. I'm gonna take the knife tool and I'm gonna cut out that engine off that train. And you can see that it's completed, and you can even take the smart fill tool and fill them in, that it, it auto closed up the gap, um, which is a pretty cool event. I mean, pretty cool, something that you can do. I mean, if you wanted to cut that car out, you could cut it again and take that, what Mr. Brewer called in his magazine article, the coal car, and just take it out and add more of these and then maybe put this back or whatever you want to do but that is the knife tool and i think i'm pretty sure that only works like that in 2017 but if you'd like to get this train pause the video and or if you get insights magazine if you're a member you get that magazine if you're a member of the apa um which is a pretty neat thing to be a member is of, and especially you get to go to Las Vegas and go to the, uh, the big show in Las Vegas. Uh, but anyway, that's the knife tool. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.